What's up, guys? You are welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. We have another trending news for you today, and the headline here read: Why big trouble looms for Akbabio and others after 40 billion was spent in under two months. All right, before I proceed with today's news, please, if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos on our channel, there is a red subscribe button below this video. Just go ahead, hit on that red subscribe button now, click that bell icon beside it to stay updated with all our latest news and updates. All right, here are the news in detail. Senator Gosul Akbavio is the Minister of Niger Delta Affairs in the government of President Muhammadu Buhari, who is running his second term following his victory in the 2019 presidential election. Akbavio was the governor of the oil rich Akwaibom state between 2007 and 2015. Akwabio has a Niger Delta Development Commission under its supervision, which has been attracting serious public attention, probably because of the huge revenue the commission attracts and the importance attached to it by both the government and the people. However, over the years, there have been allegations of embezzlement and massive corruption against the key officials of the NDDC for diverting public funds for projects for the Niger Delta people. The trend has continued since. But when President Buhari of all the progress of all progressive Congress APC came on board with a change mantra of which anti-corruption fight was one of the key components, many Nigerians felt things would be done differently. Buhari's body language suggests that he will write the commission, he will read the commission and other government establishment of corruption. He actually started the fight and is still ongoing, is still doing the, the same up to today. After winning his second term, President Buhari vowed that the anti corruption fight will be even serious than ever. To some extent, his government has prosecuted some top politicians, secured conviction against them, recovered some looted funds, and some of the victims are already in prison, despite the fact that some of them are serving senators like Joshua Darie, Ojo Zokalo, among others. Although more work still needs to be done in the anti-corruption fight, as some people still see it to be very selective and that they are fighting opposition. In view of this anti-corruption stance of the Buhari government, any case of corruption attracts serious attention from members of the public, especially when a huge amount of money is involved. Carlo was a serving senator under the ruling APC and was seen by some people as close person to Buhari, but the president did not shield him. Rather, he allowed him to face the law and he is paying the price in prison now. So Nigerians are calling on President Buhari to allow other government officials accused of corruption to face the law, whether serving official or past official, whether APC member or non-APC members. Just yesterday, it made headlines that the Federal House of Representatives is investigating Akbabio and some other people making up the Interim Management Committee of the NDDC for misappropriation of funds and other wrong practices. The probe followed the resolution passed after debating a motion sponsored by the Deputy House Leader Peter Akbason at plenary on Tuesday when many descending Nigeria had the news they knew that Akbabio and other people involved may be in for a very big trouble, especially if they do not succeed in clearing their name during the probe. Nigeria is facing a serious catch crunch and many people and many and and the money involved here is no small money to overlook. The House of Representatives mandated its committee on NDC to probe all matters concerning the misappropriation of funds, most importantly the 40 billion which was spent in less than two months. The House Committee on NDC will probe all financial transactions of the Commission in the fiscal year to ascertain if they follow the law establishing the commission and other extant laws of nigeria why does big trouble loom for akwabi and others nigeria will not forget that akwabi was a staunch member of the opposition people's democratic party pdp he only defected to the ruling apc in the run up to the 2019 general election allegedly for some political differences and issues in 
in his then party, especially as it concerned his own state, Akwaibom, among other reasons. Akwabio defection is still a big surprise to many Nigerians. Before then, there were reports that he had cases with the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. However, Akwabio joined APC anyway and was welcomed by the big wigs. He was eventually rewarded with a ministerial position after he lost his bid to run for the Senate. This government will want to prove that it, it is not hiding, it is not a hiding place for anybody found to be corrupt. Many diligent work will go into will go into the probe this time to know if Akbabio and other people are liable, especially given the history of embezzlement and corruption in the end. DDC over the years. Something has to be done about that and this time this time could be now. Again, Aquabio and other people may be in for trouble because there are several petitions against them by different people by different uh people. The petition border on extravagant spending of the NDDC's resources. The House of Representatives is called upon to do something about the situation by the petitioners who might turn up as witnesses if need be to testify to the rot going on in the commission. Definitely, that will aid the probe of even prosecution or even prosecution if it gets to that point depending on the outcome of the probe by the House Committee on NEDC. Moreover, Akbabu and member of the Interim Management Committee of the NEDC have other cases to answer. Those other cases are, a, are as weighty as the issue of financial misappropriation. The other cases border on protest letters and memos from contractors, stakeholders, and public interest groups regarding alleged personnel layoff and replacement with unqualified and inexperienced persons into strategic offices in the commission, thereby hampering efficiency and productivity. These are serious administrative cases that need serious proof and a strong decision to be taken. In fact, President Bari will most likely not take this aspect lightly. How can this be happening in a commission in such a in such a repetition where change is where change is most needed to the better life to, to better the lives of nigeria and the people of niger delta finally the Bari factor will come into play yes president Bari appoints akbabio who heads the ministry of niger delta affairs and supervises and ndc after hearing or reading all this Bari will not ignore them all he will want to know what transpired with the view to taking the right action president Bari had vowed to fight corruption headlong with more seriousness especially now that he is doing his second term. This NDDC is one of the government commissions that needs to be sanitized of corruption. President Bari will need to prove his word by following this case thoroughly to see that an impartial probe is done and those guilty duly will be duly prosecuted and punished. A situation whereby the country is facing coronavirus pandemic, which has affected the country's revenue earning with many people suffering hunger and other basic need. That money of that amount of money, 40 billion naira, can do wonders. The issue of laying off people and replacing them with inexperienced and unqualified ones must be probed and reversed if Nigerians are to take anti-corruption fight serious again laying people off means pushing them into the into crime because they and their family will be hardly hit by hunger and other stark realities of this hard time now is a time for president barry to hit the nail on the head by taking a bold decision on this issue after the impartial probe and ensure that all culpable officials of the commission face the law to serve as a lesson for others what are your thoughts on this please feel free to drop your comments and um before you go please make sure you drop your comment and also subscribe to this uh channel by hitting that red subscribe button and let us know what you actually think about this akbabio is in a very big mess you know he has been a governor governor of a quiet bomb state and we all know that all these people are not sent that they are corrupt you get a trap was set for him and akbabio have entered the trap and this time around, he is going to be the next person that's going to go in for prison. 
Bari is serious this time around to fight corruption. Let's watch out and see what happened. He has already jailed Darie. He has jailed Olisa Metu. He has jailed Ojo Zokalo. People we never expected would be jailed. Cool. God's will like probably be the next person. Let's watch out and see how this corruption goes. With the way Nigeria need money right now, all revenue have plummeted. I've just dropped. I don't know. The last time I checked was eleven dollar. I don't know how much it is now. But that of the um uh, the one of the US is zero dollar. I don't know if it has climbed as at the moment as I'm doing this news now. But Nigeria is in for an economic mess up. So that money, forty billion, is a big money. It should probably should be probed. He should be investigated, and that money could be used to do a lot of things in Nigeria today. So what do you guys think? Please drop your comment. Let me know what you think. This is Emacom TV. God bless you all.